and how to apply, we look at ways to how to apply the word of God to our lives so that we are strengthened, amen, as a child of God. All right. So very, very important. So very, very important. And so the word of God at the end of the day, amen, uh, somebody's asking, what must I do to be saved? I'm going to tell you right now, real quick, you a sinner. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You a sinner. I'm a sinner. Everybody was a sinner. The wages of all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us have missed the mark. None of us are perfect. Here it is. But Jesus Christ loves his people. Here it is. I hope you're paying attention, uh, Jennings, Kellogg, Kellogia. You're paying attention. Let me give it to you. I can give it to you real quick. And if you're serious about it, because it may not be you, it may be somebody else. Amen. All of us have sinned. Man has fallen away from God. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Pay attention. Listen, listen, listen. God has given us a way out. Amen. You don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to die and go to eternal hell and be judged. Jesus Christ came into this world to die for your sins and mine. And here it is. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. It's not that simple. It's not that. It's, it's very simple. It's not hard. Believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. Believe that he rose again on the third day. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to save you. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I hope you listen and I hope you paying attention because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God loved you so much that he sent his son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ paid the penalty. He died for my sins. He took my place. Amen. I believe that he conquered death. Amen. He conquered death. Amen. He rose again on the third day. And all you've got to do is ask him to come into your life. Ask him to save you. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now, if you really want to be saved, glory to God. Repentance and faith. Turn away from your sins and turn to God. Believe. Hallelujah. Repentance and faith. That's what you need to do to be saved. Glory to God. Now, I'm going to pray. Now, if you listen and you paying attention, you're still there. Amen. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to pray this prayer. I'm going to get you saved. If you believe Jesus Christ, amen, I'm going to show you how to get saved. I'm going to show you how to get saved. And God is going to save you right now. Come on, follow me. God, in Jesus' name, I admit I'm a sinner. I've fallen short of your goodness and your glory. I know I need to save I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. I believe that he rose again on the third day. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and be Lord of my life. Save me and change me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a brand new life in Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen, if you just prayed that prayer, you just got saved. Yes, you ought to get baptized. Yes, you ought to join a local, you ought to join a church. You need to get baptized. Absolutely, you ought to get baptized as a child of God, as a, as a sign of your proof of your faith. Glory to God that Jesus Christ is your Savior. You need to go find and you a Bible believing Bible teaching, Bible preaching church. Tell them I just got saved. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I want to get connected to, to a church. I want to get baptized in obedience to the teaching of the scripture. That's how you get saved. I hope you paid attention. I hope you heard it. Amen. Now, let me keep going. All right. So, if you heard the word of God, glory to God. If you heard the word of God, glory to God.
of God. If you heard the word of God, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen, um, uh, the, 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 the dull of hearing are the folk who tend to be, again, distracted or focused on something else or doing something else and something else has their attention. Glory to God. Now, um, the, the, the third type of hearer is the itching ears hearer. The scriptures teach about uh, those with itching ears. Uh, uh, the people with itching ears are people who only listen to that which is pleasing. It's that they only will listen to, amen, stuff that, that makes them feel good. But they won't hear the truth. And I want you to understand. Amen. Bless. Bless the Lord. You believe Jesus is Christ. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Glory to God. You are saved. And now that you are saved. Amen. Amen. Please understand. It's by grace you saved. It's nothing you did. You just believe in what he did. Glory to God. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. is the gift of God. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So, um, uh,